hi guys welcome back to the channel today we're going to give you an update on how far the process has reached for Jamaica to become a republic now Jamaica is trying to move towards becoming a republic right now it's a part of the constitutional monarch system meaning the head of state for Jamaica is not the Jamaican Prime Minister it's the King of England and to sign a bill into law it's not the Prime Minister that signs it into law it's the Governor General who acts on behalf of the King so basically it's as if the King still needs to sign it into law but the King is not in Jamaica so the governor general acts on his behalf if a state of emergency needs to be called in jamaica it's not the prime minister that calls it it is the governor general that has to sign it into law and there are a lot of things that you would think as an independent country the prime minister would do but it's really the governor general acting on behalf of the king so Jamaica for quite some time now has been moving to our, our trying to become a republic so we're going to give you an update on the latest news on this okay so we're going to go through an article entitled Jamaica must change 13 provisions in constitution to become a republic. There are 13 provisions in the Jamaican constitution that will require change to, before the country can transition from the current constitutional monarchy to become a republic. Minister of Local and Constitution Affa Constitutional Affairs, Honorable Marlene Maluhu Fort, in making the disclosure said that a nationwide referendum is also required where the people will have to go to the polls to vote for or against the process to abolish the British monarchy and establish the Republic of Jamaica. Sometime next year, if not, then early in the following year, we will be going to a referendum. A lot of work has to be done before we get there because we would have to design the ballots, let the people know the details of what is in the bill, and to let all of you have your say, she outlined. Minister Maluhu Fort was addressing the first national meeting of the Junior Chamber International, JCI, Jamaica at the Montego Bay Community College in St. James. She urged the young people to put themselves Put yourselves in a place to have your say in this change. So, if you have not registered to vote, please do so. Minister Maluhu Ford said that the process of transitioning into a republic is designed to be a slow one because when you introduce the bill to make the amendments, the constitution says three months must pass between the introduction of the bill and the commencement of the debate on the bill. It also says that three months must pass between the conclusion of the debate on the bill and the vote on it, because these provisions are specially protected and it requires you to think and think again about the kind of changes you want to make, she pointed out. The minister explained that the next step in the process is to formally establish a constitutional reform committee aimed at building consensus among the government and the opposition as well as the public through expert guidance and consultation. The consolata consolidative committee will be comprised of representatives from the government and opposition, the attorney general, constitutional law experts including persons from academia and the private sector. The JCI's first national meeting was held from February 24 to 26 under the theme Refocus, Driven by Purpose, and included presentations from chapter members across the country on the rebuilding, rebranding, and refocusing of the organization. 
The 2023 National President for JCI Jamaica, Odell Marsh, said that part of the organization's objectives is to play a greater role in nation building and with Jamaica at a crucial state of its development, it is important that the body engage the Ministry of Legal and Constitutional Affairs. If we, we, if we are properly informed of the process that the government is going to undertake to become a republic, then we in our spaces will be able to adequately play our role to advocate and advance that process and to say to young people that you need to get on board, he pointed out. JCI Jamaica is a non-profit organization comprised of young people ages 18 to 40 who are engaged and committed to creating impact in their communities. All right, so that's the end of the article. So basically, it comes down to putting together the committee and you're always hearing in the news that the committee has not been formed yet, like the opposition is not a part of the committee yet, and then there is a referendum. So it's not impossible, it can be done, other countries have done it, so it's just for Jamaica to get going with it. I guess the committee would be the first step and then the referendum. So guys, what do you think about Jamaica becoming a republic? I think it's time. Jamaica is an independent country and Jamaica should should be have more control over what goes on in Jamaica. And what what do you guys think? And just to point out these laws takes let's look at okay well let's not go there but let us know what you think the government seems to be moving forward and we now know what has to be done they didn't really mention what the 13 provisions what was it that they said um, there are 13 provisions in the Jamaican constitution that will require change before the country can transition from the current constitutional monarchy to become a republic. But they didn't list what those 13 provisions are. But it's probably going to take some time because these laws will, or these changes will take time, but it can be done and I think it should be done. So guys, let us know what you think about the Republic of Jamaica. Alright guys, thanks for having the discussion with us today. Remember to like, share and subscribe. Have a good day.